Hello everybody, uh, I'm Tone and thank you for joining me once again on The Breakdown. Um, today is the first episode, um, and don't know how many episodes it's going to be, it's going to be up to the Victorian government, uh, but this is the first episode of Mask Mandate Nope, um, and uh, I'm going to do, or endeavour to do, 50 full proper push-ups um, in um, in raising awareness for mandating things that should not be mandated, um, in uh, raising awareness for increased controls. Um, I really want people to wake up to how we're being controlled financially, uh, emotionally, spiritually, um, and, and physically. Um, um, so, with that said, um, I'll endeavour to do these push-ups. I should be pretty fit by the end of this. Let's just see how long this mandate lasts. But uh, I'll deal with these. Um, and then, um, well, we'll just see how this video goes. But just... Okay, so that's 15. Whew. As I said, I expect to be pretty fit by the end of this. Um, please understand that uh, I'm not against mask wearing. If you choose to wear them, um, then okay. Uh, that might make you feel safer make others around you feel safer. But if you're truly concerned about the spread of the virus, stay home. That's the only thing that's gonna stop this. Not a mask. Social distancing from people is gonna be far more effective than any mask is. It says it on the boxes. If you read the boxes, they say, will not prevent things like coronavirus. They won't. There's no protection against viral infection. Uh, it says it on the box. Go find a box, have a read of the fine print, you'll find it. Um, so by all means, wear one if you want to, but I'm not okay with it being mandated because people were being irresponsible and not wearing them. Fair enough, people weren't being responsible and they kept going out, as they've said on the news, they were going out and they were waiting on their test results, for example. So they've already been tested and they're going out um, into public. All right, that's got nothing to do with wearing a mask, but it's the excuse to mandate mask wearing. Um, no, no. Um, so, as I said in the video uh, yesterday, I'll actually, I'll do another 15. <laughs> That's only halfway. I'm gonna to have to have another break. Powered through the first 15. Whew. Um now what was I saying? Whew. Um yeah, look it's an excuse to bring in a 
a new control, most definitely. And I'm hoping this uh, shows people something that they probably will think is silly and quite ridiculous. But you know, in the same way that I wouldn't say that doing push-ups for any other cause is ridiculous and silly, neither is this. Um, the worst thing about any problem is not seeing it coming. If you're not aware of what's going on, and if you're not aware of what is definitely coming, when we don't really know, but control is increasing, increasing, increasing. If you're not aware of it, if you're not awake to it and it catches you off guard, I think only God can help you. But, um, so, um, I'm considering myself under house arrest until the mandate is lifted. Um, as I shared in my video yesterday. Um, and, uh, that's because I refuse to wear a mask because I'm told to. Um, I was already wearing one, um, uh, mostly to make other people feel safe. Um, but uh, I'm not going to wear one when they would tell me lies like it's going to help prevent the spread uh, and everything like that. The only thing that it might do is when people are wearing masks, they might be more likely to they're already mindful of the issue, so they're mindful to stay um, a decent distance apart, you know, 1.5, 2 metres, 2.5 metres, whatever. Um, so, but those that weren't wearing masks weren't caring about, about um, social distancing enough. That's the only valid thing that I'm going to say comes from this, um, because if anyone has the virus, they shouldn't be outside in public anyway, and that goes back to what they were talking about with the um, people waiting on their test results and going out in the public. There's the problem. Nothing to do with wearing masks. Uh, try and do a, another 10. Oh, man. That's only 35. I'm going to be fit by the end of this. Well, we'll see. We'll see how long they mandate. Um, also, I understand I'm firmly believing that we're gonna to go to a stage four lockdown, regardless of what we're doing right now. They're already talking about it in the media. And as soon as they started talking about masks a lot more, it was already looking like they're gonna bring in this mandate. So no, no, I won't wear one because I'm told to. I'll wear one because I choose to, because I, Think it makes me feel safer or it makes other people feel safer feel safer not are safer um and look i want to encourage you if you really really must be outside then wear one um, you don't want to get a uh, 200 dollars fine but do it because you want to don't do it because um, you know, it's become some sort of mandatory thing. Wear it because it makes you feel safer or you want to make other people feel safer. But really, if you want to get a result out of this, stay home. Get this video out to as many people as you can and stay home. Stop the spending. Stop anything you possibly can. Reduce right down to the bare minimum. And we'll... If enough people did that, 
the system <laughs> and everything that it's that's being pushed right now would be revealed for what it is guaranteed you want to know the truth put the pressure on stay home do what they ask don't go out but stop spending too slow down as much of the money velocity as you can it won't take long it's just one concerted effort consumer spending drops through the floor results very quickly you'll soon see whether they really believe that this mask thing is solving anything you would find an immediate oh no it's okay the cases are dropping 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 but if we don't all band together and do something like that stage four is a foregone conclusion in my opinion uh, what am I? I've done uh, 35. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's only five and a half, or four and a half. I'm gonna have to drop to the knees. Five to go. I've had to drop to the knees for these ones. I'll do five more and I've got my 50. Granted the last 10 uh, knee push-ups. By the way, I might just draw attention to this. This is a real push-up. Even if you're doing them on the ground without using these, face to the floor, chest to the floor, that's a push-up. None of this. <gasps> No, push-ups aren't fast. Real push-ups are deep and proper push-ups. So just bear that in mind when you're really wanting to stand for an issue. Do it properly. Um, <clears throat> that is, of course, if your body allows you to. Um, but the um, point gets across when you do it properly. Uh, yeah, so you want to see a result. You want to you want to see what this actually is. Stay home. One because it's safer, um, and unless you really, really have a reason to be outside of home, I don't understand why anyone would be out anyway. Exemptions like school, but universities are closed. <clears throat> Churches are closed, but various other places were open. Okay, look, it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. And the fact that we haven't had all or nothing means we've still got a result. We've still got a problem. This is the result of not doing it properly. Anyway, I'll do these last five. I'll try and do them. We'll see how we go. Set up. There we go. Oh, 
bear with me guys thanks for your patience uh, usually I have this already set up but interesting times call for interesting measures okay guys well thank you for joining me um, on this first episode of masks mandate nope open open your eyes open your ears listen to what's going on don't take my word for anything as i mentioned already i'm staying at home i'm refusing to wear the mask in public um, because one i will not have it mandated to me two i recognize that masks do next to nothing against these viral things like a coronavirus and um, and three social distancing is the only thing that's going to stop this so if you're out in public wearing a mask uh, and you're doing it because you must be outside you must be out there because you've got no choice. You actually need to be doing something. I said no choice um, because you, I mean, we've got to eat, then wear one if it makes you feel better. But if you're out there and you're believing that by wearing one, you're protecting yourself or you're protecting others, and therefore you might allow yourselves to become a little bit close to other people because you think this, this is helping, It's not um, it's a mindset thing more than anything and as they alluded to on the news um, quite a few weeks ago those that were wearing masks might be a little bit more um, likely to be doing the social distancing it means in saying that the social distancing is the most important thing the mask is simply just a reminder a constant reminder that mm, it would be helpful if you wore this. Anyway, please share the video. I'm sure I'm going to get quite, well, I'm not sure, but if it got out wide enough, I'm sure I would get quite a lot of criticism for it um, because they'd be like, well, you, you, wanna wear, you need to wear a mask. They've told you and it's got these benefits and, and you'll be far safer. Read the box and you'll see that they cover themselves every which way that they won't prevent such things as coronaviruses. I will try and find the image that um, a friend of mine showed me where they've taken a picture of the back of the box that says exactly that. Look into it. Um, I'm under uh, self-imposed uh, house arrest because I refuse to wear a mask and I refuse to pay a fine. Up to you what you do, but if you're going to go out, please just do it because you want to wear one. And um, look, I'll leave you with that. I'm endeavouring to do a video every day. I'm going to endeavour to do push-ups, 50 push-ups every day to raise awareness against increased controls upon your freedoms. Um, thank you once again for joining me on The Breakdown. I'm Tone. Take care of each other, love each other. God bless. And um, yeah, let's just see how this next however long plans out, uh, pans out because it's going to be very interesting how long I'm in here for. Um, yeah, I will be with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.